I'm currently in a very rainy London. Currently at St Pancras Station. I'm on my way to Paris to escape for a couple of days, and I thought I'd bring you with me to show you my favourite places in the city to buy pastry. Making our way onto the train. So I've made it onto the Eurostar, and I'm on the fancy trains. So we just arrived in Paris on the train, and at the moment it looks like the sun's kind of out, which is better than the predicted thunderstorm. So hopefully we get some decent weather this trip. So I arrived in Paris, and it's pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm staying in an area called Canal Saint Martin, which is it's not super touristy. You might recognise it if you've ever watched Amelie, because it's where she skims stones. And if an hour before I'm allowed to check into my Airbnb, so I'm gonna have a little wander around the neighbourhood and I'm gonna show you one of my favourite boulangerie. So behind me is just there. There is, is Dubana des D, which is a, an amazing boulangerie in the heart of Canal Samantha, which is just incredible. And they serve these amazing swirls of pastry with uh, pistachio and chocolate in called Escavo, which are just incredible. But they also serve a bread called uh, Panda Zini, which is Bread of Friends, which is this really dark, bitter, almost smoky bread, which is well worth a try. Annoyingly, I forgot to get any money, so I have no cash on me, and I'm going to try and find the cash machine so I can get something to eat. So I haven't found the cash machine, so I'm going to walk more towards my Airbnb, but this is where I'm staying, which is the Canal Samata. Hello, no. Hello, no. The Canal Samata, which is, it's not far from Gatineau, the train station, um, but it's a nice quiet area, or quiet-ish. So I've checked into my Airbnb and I thought I'd give you a little tour. So it has a really simple little kitchen, but the stuff in it you can actually use it and there's a nice coffee machine. And then nice cute bathroom. And then this nice really bright space. And it's just a really beautiful bright space. Perfect. So I must be a slightly strange person because not only am I travelling with my clothing and everything I need for the trip, I also have a cake tin, thermometer and parchment paper. All become clear tomorrow but it's for a little project I'm working on. Um, but still, that's not normal. So I've had a bit of freshen up, I've changed and I'm heading out for dinner and some drinks with some friends that live in town. And thankfully it's a really nice evening, nice and fresh. around town but this is the original and it's the only one uh, the, in the centre of town anyway that serves all of the pastries and cakes as well as the macarons and it's well worth looking out for. So we've gone to Freddy's next door to where we're going to have dinner and I'm with my friend Jane Hi. who runs a cooking school in Paris and we, the most important thing is plenty of wine. So these little things are what are we eating? They're duck hearts. So we've just finished... <laughs> Stop making fun of me! So we've just had uh, drinks next door. Oh, now we're going into Samia for dinner. And we are in the middle of Santa Million. <laughs> That was a really fun night, really good catch up with friends and lots of wine, really good food and just kind of putting the world to rights. It was really fun and 
To finish the night, I brought this back from Pierre Hermé, which is, I can't remember, it's got wild strawberries, it's got pistachios, it's got, I think, passion fruit. Um, that's going to be my dessert before I crash out and fall fast asleep. I'm a little bit hungover. Um, <laughs> we maybe drank a little bit more wine than we thought we did last night. Um, but it was a really fun night. So I'm now off in search of coffee because God knows I need a lot of it uh, before we head out for a day of pastry. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite places in town. This was exactly what I needed of coffee. And I have a little bit of pig from La Belleville, uh, La Pompe de Belleville, which is a new coffee shop here in Belleville. And it is perfect. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So now that I've had my morning coffee and I'm feeling slightly less than over, we're off in search of pastry. I'm going to take you to the first stop, which is at Yam Kubra, which is a brand new pastry of Kubra. Obviously that means it's also new to me, so we check out together and I really want to try one of his eclairs. So we are in Yankubra, which is brand new to three, and we've got a small selection. So we've got a Queen of Man, which is like a caramelised croissant, a pistachio pastry, and then something called a Meve, which is like a hazelnut chocolate mousse, and then that is an eclair with tonka bean and chocolate. <laughs> So I'm going to try and find somewhere to shelter and hang out for a bit, whilst hopefully it stops soon. So, I'm on Rue Montreal and this pastry shop behind me store is the oldest pastry shop in Paris. It's been open since 1730. Uh, they do an amazing thing called the Puy de Mont, which is like a creme brulee inside a puff pastry case. But today I'm going to take you to a new place just down the road called Food de Patisserie, which is like a boutique from pastries from all over Paris from different chefs. So my camera just died, so I'm now doing it on my phone, so hopefully all this will fine. Um, but this here, this is Food Patisserie, which is a patisserie that's run by a magazine, effectively, and they sell patisseries and cakes and chocolates from shops all across Paris, chefs all across Paris. So it's a really nice one-stop shop if you are here for a really short amount of time. So I bought a cheesecake and some madeleines and a magazine. Of course, that's what they do. So I would say the sun has come out, but what you can't tell is it's actually raining again, so I'm going to very quickly have my Madeline, and then I'm gonna run away, get in the tube, and go to my next stop. So I just spent a good 15 minutes walking around the supermarket trying to find sugar for something I'm doing tomorrow. Could I find it? No. Where was the sugar, do you think? Because sugar belongs in the alcohol aisle, so that's the only aisle I hadn't checked. So anyway, I'm going back to the flat now to do some baking and I will tell all when I get there. So, I told you before that I'm odd because I travel with butter, sugar, baking parchment. Um, well, the reason was this. So I am having to make a batch of my passion fruit caramels from my book, Patisserie Made Simple, because tomorrow I'm filming a Facebook Live with cookbook author David Leibovitz. So by the time this goes up, that would have gone out. So if you check below, there'll be a link to watch that again. Um, but cooking in my Airbnb is interesting because it's minimal on kit. So we're having to make do. I had to go buy a scale today and it took me 20 minutes to find sugar in the supermarket. So we'll see how this turns out.
So that just needs to rest for a few hours now until it's really nice and set. So I'm just going to leave it overnight and then I'm going to head out into the town. <laughs> Good morning, so today is my last day in Paris, so I'm pretty much just going to have a little mooch around, get some food, take you to a couple more of my favourite pastry shops and just enjoy a surprisingly nice weather. So the first place I'm going to take you is Eclair de Genie, which makes the best eclairs I've ever had. Uh, and it's in the Marais area, which is one of my favourite areas. It was, or is, the Jewish area, it's the gay area, and it's kind of this real hodgepodge of little side streets and really beautiful buildings. And it's the only place in Paris that really stays open on a Sunday. And it's just, it's a really fun area. So this is a Claire de Genie, this is the original shop, uh, but there's a whole bunch of them all across Paris now, so you can get them really easily. Um, but it's the best place, and I would say it's my number one choice for someone to go in Paris. So unfortunately I got my timing slightly mixed up, and it's not open yet. So I'm just gonna wander over to the market instead, and we'll have a little wander around there, maybe get some breakfast, maybe get coffee, um, but just enjoy having a slightly quiet day. So this is one of the reasons that I love Marais and Paris. Look at that! It's just beautiful around here and every now and again you just find a little square with a little park and it's just a really beautiful area to wander around aimlessly and just kind of lose yourself in the look of Paris. It's just really pretty. So I've got my coffee from my favourite little coffee shop, Boot Cafe, in the Marais and we're just wandering over to the market to have a little wonder now that I'm feeling a bit more awake and hungry I need a croissant or something. So this is my favourite market in Paris which is on Boulevard uh, Richard Lenoir and it is just a bustling, bustling place and it's really nice for Rwanda but also really nice place to buy stuff so lots of really good fruit and veg and it's very seasoned so I might buy some berries to munch on but I'm just going to have a little one today. <laughs> Obviously, I come from Paris without having eggs. So I'm in the market still. I sat down, have a little break, and I've got a delicious croissant now. Did you know the two different shapes of croissants are very different? So if they have like a curled crescent shape, that means they're not made with butter. If they're straight, it means they are made with butter and will taste so much better. They're always straight, straight, straight. So I went back to Eclair Genie. I have my eclairs, I'm in a really pretty park. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and chill out and eat an eclair. So once again, I've been caught in the heavy rain, but how can you be mad? A city that looks as beautiful as this. So, I was just going through the footage of what I've shot and I've just realized I've accidentally deleted a big piece of it, which was about a street called Rue de Bac. Um, so I'm gonna quickly tell you because it's useful. So if you're only in Paris for a very short amount of time, Especially if you're staying south of the river in Saint Germain, there's a street called Rue de Bac, and there's about five patisseries on there. There's Patisserie de Rêve, Jacques Chenin, uh, 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 Ducatoet de Pain, uh, and a couple of others. There's also a huge department store, they have amazing products. So if you're only here for a short amount of time, check out. So we've got to La Cuisine in Paris, my friend's cookery school, where we're going to film our Facebook Live. We've got some of the ingredients set up and we're just cutting out some passion fruit caramels is what we're going to make on the film. So these are caramels. But just come and have a look at the view from the cookery school because it's incredible. So we're right on the edge of the Seine and it looks right over the river. I mean, it's just a really pretty view. So if you ever come to Paris and you fancy doing French cookery class in English, then check out La Cuisine of Paris. So we just finished the Facebook Live video and I raced across town to make it to Gardena to get my train on time and I just realised that I didn't film anything once David arrived. So if you go down in the box below, there's a link to watch the Facebook Live again. Uh, but now I'm at the station, it's time to go back to London. So until next time, see you later.